Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create an image gallery like the one displaying on the screen, okay? And you see, when you click a thumbnail, it will change the image that is being viewed to the thumbnail, okay? Automatically, okay? So, we are going to start with a basic HTML document and we're going to code line by line, okay? So that everyone understands. So we're going to start with a div, the ID of G holder. Now this div is going to hold all the contents of the gallery, okay? And in this div, we're going to embed another div with the ID of the big the big image holder this is a div that is going to hold this big image this one okay right under that we are going to embed another div with the ID of thumb thumbnails holder this is a div that is going to hold these thumbnails okay that's the div that is going to hold the thumbnails so basically we have finished our HTML so let's go up in the head document and style everything okay so we're going to put our style tag And we're going to start by styling the G holder, okay? So, we're going to style the div with the ID of G holder. We're going to give it a width of 600 pixels, height 500 pixels, margin. Of zero auto and background color let's give it silver okay so this is going to give it a width a height this is going to center it in the page this is going to give it background color so let's preview that in the browser and see where we get preview you see we get this silver div here okay the next thing we're going to style the div with the ID of the big image holder okay we are going to give it the width of 600 pixels, height 400 pixels, and background color of white. Okay, so let's preview that and see where we get. You see, but we want this other div to have a padding of 10 pixels so that it places the big image holder div in the center you see that's what we want exactly what we want the next thing we are going to style the div the id of thumbnails holder we are going to give it a width of 590 pixels height of 100 pixels and background color 
white so let's see it gives us that okay and you see there is this space that is left here we're going to deal with that, with that okay so first we want to give it a margin five pixels auto and a padding of five pixels okay so let's see where we get by now you see that's what we get the next thing we are going to insert the images inside these divs this is a div that is going to have big image okay the source is going to be there is a folder let me show you the folder this is where I'm saving on my files so there is this folder called images and that's where I've stored my images okay so there is that folder called images and there is the file name called 01.jpg so let's save that close it you see we have inserted the image but it is so big it is even bigger than the div so we are going to go back to our CSS and style it okay so the div is the ID of the big image holder we want to style the image that is a child that div okay and we want the width to be 600 pixels and the height to be 400 pixels just like the parent div okay you see now it fits perfectly the next thing we are going to insert the thumbnails in this div okay so I've finished typing in the thumbnails you see this is the code that I've added then we are going to style them the div with the ID of thumbnails holder we want to style the images that are children of that div okay so we want to give them a height of 100 pixels width of 90 pixels then we want them to display block we want them to float left okay let's give this height of 90 pixels we want them to display block and we want them to have a margin of 2 pixels okay so when we style them that way we go back to uh, and refresh you see they appear here okay the next thing we are going to style them in their hover state okay copy paste in their hover state We want them to have a border radius of 100 pixels and we want the cursor to be the pointer okay we want the cursor to be the pointer so let's go back refresh okay you see now the cursor is the pointer just the way we want 
The other thing, we want the first image here to be the big image by default, okay? So, go back to our HTML and we make this to be the first image like that. You see now, first image is the one displaying here by default. So, uh, any other thing, we want to give them a transition so that it changes in a in an animated fashion. So, border. This is the property we want to affect border radius. We want the transition to take a period of 0 0.3 seconds and it's going to be a linear animation and the delay is going to be 0 seconds okay so let's go back refresh see see now it's animated okay it's animated now we are through with our html and css now it's time for javascript okay so we're going to go back to our head element and put the script tag and by the way you can put the type but in html5 it is no longer required but if you want to put it you can okay so we want this code to run after the window has finished loading okay so we're going to add an event listener to the window the load event after the window has finished loading that's when we want our javascript to run and we want this function to, to run we're going to name that as our function and the use capture is, is going to be false okay so we're going to create that function it's going to take no arguments and in this function this is a function that is going to to help us change the image when it's clicked you see now it's not working okay so we're going to use that function to do that okay so in this function, we're going to declare variable var big image is equals to document dot get element by id big image, okay? The next variable is going to be thumbnails holder is equals to be documents dot get element by d thumbnails holder okay that is the second variable okay now we are going to add an event listener to the thumbnails holder okay so thumbnails holder dot add event listener so we want when it is clicked we want to run an anonymous function there and the use capture is going to be false in this function this is a function that is going to change the images and this function is going to take an argument of event okay so that we can access the event of the element that was clicked okay so we're going to put an if statement to make sure that the element that was clicked on this thumbnails folder is 
actually an image okay so we're going to type event dot target dot tag name is equals to img so this is going to check whether it is an image that was clicked okay if it is an image that's when you're going to run this code where you're going to set big image remember the big image is this object that we we declared here dot source is equals to event dot target dot source okay so that is going to change the source of the image so if we don't have any errors this is going to run okay and you go back to the browser when you click it you see it's not changing so let's refresh and when you click on an image you see it is changing okay it is changing so and by the way remember to give this image the id of the big of big image okay remember to put that there okay so that's it for now and this code can be written in so many ways so in the next tutorial i'm going to use php to dynamically get all these images instead of writing if for example we had 40 images in a folder we do not want to write all this stuff okay so we are going to use php the next tutorial to dynamically load image names and put them there and in the that tutorial we are going to use ajax okay ajax to load the names and display them there so that's it for now see you in the next tutorial using php it's going to be fun and ajax <laughs>